Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm going to be filming Mike and Zach. They're down here uh, at that elm tree that fell. If you've seen that in my live stream on my original channel, uh, I got my truck all loaded up with, uh, with for a delivery, and they're going to go ahead and cut that elm up, and then they're going to bring it up here to bay number one. The splitter's all ready to go. I want to see how fast they can do this. So if you missed that other video, just go to my other channel. Maybe I'll put a link for it uh, in the comments or in the description. It was my live stream that I did when I did the walk through the woods. But uh, we just, Mike just decided to drive his truck down here. You know, we had to take this little silver maple out of the way to make sure he had room. I think he's warming up the saw right now. I hope he's got gas in it. So, like I say, this is the elm tree. There's a cowboy right there. He's going to be loading. You got your toe strap, Mike? Just in case we can't get out of here. These leaves are slippery. We're on a hillside. <clears throat> there's there's my she shed right there. That's what Zach, that's what Zach called it, you know. But uh, anyway, so it, the game plan is here. We're going to save this limbwood for my mom. It's a nice dry elm but I told him to uh, just go ahead and cut these little pieces up here while it's off the ground, you know, work smarter, not harder. And I say the whole tree length, this is probably, you know, 40 foot. And then maybe there's a 10 foot stub still standing there. So we'll uh, film all that, but so go ahead. I'll, they're going to start here in just a second and place your bets on how long it's going to take these boys. Cause they are here to get shit done and not play games. You know, they they showed up today. I didn't really have any work for them, but I said, all right, you can do my work. You know, I did get a couple, say, I sold two truckloads yesterday and uh, and I got one going out tomorrow so I can afford to pay these guys to work because they want to work. So, but they don't really have anywhere to cut. The only spot to cut is at Jack's at, at, at the top of that hill, yeah. you know, and it's like, yeah, that Mike was, well, he wasn't saying hi. He was sh saying how steep it is there. <laughs> And, you know, and working on a steep hillside. Yeah, see how he's doing that? It's all snowy and wet like this. But you think this is dry and ready to go? Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah. All right, hit your stopwatches. Get her done, boys. Don't play games.
this teamwork. Yeah, save that for my mom. We're gonna cut this all up for my mom. We'll do that later. In case anybody's wondering, I'm paying them $40 to cut this up, $10 to split it, so 50 bucks. I'd say it's probably 80 or 90 dollars what I can sell it for once it's all split. Yeah, we might not be able to throw them now. It's starting to get pretty far away. Yeah, peel off the bark if it comes off, Zach. If it wants to fall. How's it feel? Do they feel pretty light, like it's dry? Might need a little time to sit. Back 40 Firewood, North Fork Hollow. in the truck though we'll leave it for boiler wood all right what do you think remember the last time mike tried to fall a stub he landed in the lake hey, he was playing games that day Cut a piece of boiler wood off the top.
That was, that, you know, the video is 10 minutes. So that was like seven and a half minutes by my calculations. You know, Mike's going to help him with the, these last couple. And then we're going to, I'm going to film and see if he can pull out of the woods or if we got to get that toe strap hooked up. Normally they stack in here. I gave the, the, these guys a deal today. I just told them, you know, normally I pay them uh, like four, $40, $40 for, a, for a stack truckload. And this is a tossed in one. And it's only about, you know, about a half a, you know, three quarters of a truckload. You know, but they've been working hard. They deserve a little bonus once in a while. One more piece, Mike. You got it, Zach. Mike, Mike's not used to walk up and down the hills. He's got asthma. And so that sometimes affects his breathing. You think, you know, but I do it too. I get tired. But, uh, all right, Zach, you stay here to push just in case. <laughs> See if you can get it. Even if they cut that limb wood, it still wouldn't have been a truckload. But you know what? Like I say, these guys work hard. They need to make money once in a while. You know, cutting's where the money is. You know, not splitting. I'm sorry, guys, but you yeah. got to find a spot to cut. And I got, and if I can sell something, you you, yeah, yeah, I know it. I need a, My neighbor. your neighbor, your neighbor. All right. What do you think? Oh, he, now he's got a stick shift. He says he can just walk it out of here. Just don't stall it. <laughs> it's a dodge. Easy, easy, easy peasy. Look at that. Look at that. We'll give you some bonus footage and we'll start the splitting process. You know, like I say, I'm paying them 50 bucks for this. Probably break even on it, but that's okay. These guys help me out a lot. You know, it's not all about making money. Sometimes you got to take care of your people. Okay. Right, Zach? Okay. Right, Zach? I got to go cut firewood for my dad. Yep. I'll be up north. Yeah. Now, tomorrow, or, yeah, tomorrow I'm delivering this, this load for 170 probably face cord you know some limb wood i know everybody likes the limb wood so <laughs> but this is what we got going on i go might as well start splitting <laughs> you start yeah if you didn't stall it i don't think you would have did a burnout oh i know but i stalled it because it was fucking cold yeah <laughs> just set those off to the side and i want you guys to uh to grab those pieces of board just set it right here for now you know, because I want you to load those up, take them down in the driveway, and uh, put it with the other. This area up front's pretty full. Yeah. So just take it to one of the spots in the driveway. So there you go. Now, this should be all warmed up. You get, turn the gas on. Give her a pull, Zach. Should start right up. Oh, yeah. How much gas? Uh, yeah. And nothing. <laughs> there ain't nothing in there. Let's see. No, oh, there's enough to do a, demo a quick demonstration. It'll start. One more. Two more. Uh, might have to choke it. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. I put the gas out back. I'll do his next job. I do this next job while uh, Mike splits this. Do double duty. Double duty. Throw them in there. Split, split pretty good for now. Yeah. I'm about to pinch my finger. You know, we can also stack it there. back for my mom, throw it on the pallet. Might as well put, put, a, put a, a splash in there while it's still running. Alright, that should be enough to get through this stuff. Mike can do 
than the curved ones. That's went down pretty far. But he kind of, the first one he did, he like flicked his wrist and it, oh hell, damn. Mike, Mike just showed him up. That went farther than Zach. Now we got another competition. That's, that, we'll, we'll do that in the next video. Mark, no, a bark throwing contest. Do that. Bring your driver. All right, well, I'm going to head inside and get some lunch. We'll let these boys finish up out here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my mom, my mom made Zach some uh, hot cocoa. I'll go grab that right now, okay, Zach? All right, guys. We'll see you guys on the next video.